hey guys welcome back to the cnj show and i got my favorite jenna juice here and i got my sister nick and we hope that you guys are having a good day today let's get on with this topic r kelly and jocelyn now listen guys before we get into this discussion let's let's sit down quietly and let's let's have a conversation really quick and see how would you guys feel about this okay now jocelyn just had her baby just welcomed them welcomed a a baby girl into this world congrats for that okay but the thing is is allegedly supposed to be r kelly's own he's saying he don't know about that but he of course he don't know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff that ain't the issue the thing is okay how do you feel about reputations do you ignore them or do you cross the line with them how do you do with reputations you know i know like some people be like you know what i have to see it for myself or i I will or i won't now i'm gonna say this for me personally when it comes down to a reputation i feel like there's a difference between the reputation and then a rumor rumors can get spread it and yes it can ruin someone's life career and everything else i'm not saying that r kelly is innocent and i'm not saying that he's guilty there's a lot that goes into his whole entire trial his whole entire case his whole entire life i know that you know his, his uh sister molested him um you know, he said he didn't know how to read and certain people took advantage of him. And just it just was a lot of different things going on. I also know that he probably he pissed off a lot of people. You say you didn't slept with your friends, um, females and you didn't did a lot of things like you just. You know, once you just start singing, you just become become somebody else. Now, my thing with this is this, and this is how I personally feel about the whole entire situation and manner. When it comes down to um, certain things that's out and about and in the streets, where there's so many different things going on, if it involves, okay, you know what? He's down low. Okay. I if you you could be for me, but I don't even know. But if too many things is going on with that, I have to probably pass you by because that is something that I don't want to deal with. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't want to deal with and I'm saying the main important part. Whatever you choose is what you choose, but I don't want to deal with no down low man due to the fact that look at how what I just said down low mean you don't want nobody to know about that. So you're fooling, you're fooling everybody who you want to be with. You can't be with because you don't got the confidence yet to go tell everybody. So no, I'm not going to do that. Then when you do finally decide to come out, guess who's going to be in, in, in looking like, oh, shock that Sheila, me, I'm not going to do that. So, therefore, just keep on bypassing, keep walking. I ain't got time for that. J- just keep on going. Um, I, I, my advice is don't mess up nobody life. But most cert- certainly, I don't just keep on keep on trucking, honey, because I ain't got time for that. Okay. Now, if you got this this rumor out, you like younger chicks. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But I don't want to talk to you either. Now, it's a difference between younger where the chick is in her 20s and you're in your 20s and 30s and 40s and whatever it is, depending on your age, what could be considered young versus what's old. Okay, now, 20s in in your 20s, that's fine. You know why that's so fine? Because this is an adult, you're good, okay? You ain't doing that wrong. But I still, when I talk to you, if you're saying that this is the only thing, like, okay, I'm only attracted to this certain number, I don't want to talk to you. Reason being, because guess what? I'm going to bypass my 20s one day. We all, nobody don't think so. So, you know, you can be, shoot, it seemed like I was just in middle school walking home from school. God darn it all, I'm in my 30s now. Fine as wine. But at the same time, guess what? Guess what? If you like what you like, the thing is, this is what you're going to always look at. 
it does not matter. So even if you meet me being 20, honey, if God is good to me and, I, and I'm getting my life together, trying to do the best that I possibly can, one day, honey, I got to, every year I got to have a birthday, honey. So if, shoot, by the time I hit about 28, 29, you think, oh, yep, you're getting up, ain't you? Mm -mm -mm. It's about that time for me to find out a 20 year old. So my eyes is wondering. Okay, no, I ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, R. Kelly's case, I don't know. That, that, um, middle school, elementary stuff, heck, nah, we can't deal with that. I got, I have twin daughters. We ain't doing that. And I can't deal, I, I would not want to know. Like, I feel like that's the, that's the reason why a lot of people find themselves sitting up here talking. And you be all in the mix and you sit up there just talking like, yeah, you know, um, you going calling Sheila. Hey, Sheila, girl, he done did it again. You know, he said I looked into his phone and he keeps telling me that, um, you know, he just he's just looking at all these different men. I mean, he got more men in his phone than me. And I look at the men for the working out part and just stuff and thinking that this is just entertainment when I'm bored. But Every time I look into his phone, scroll up, scroll down. I mean, it's just different men in different sexual positions. Like it's a, it's a bicep here, chest here, butt here, to this and this, you know. And here comes Sheila. Oh, girl. I mean, he could be. I don't want to hear no no. He he could have been. Listen, the streets told you before you even got in that situation. Like I think too that that like. What I'm basically trying to say is this. Listen, the world and people is very deceiving. We all understand it. But when something is out there in the air where it's more than one person and it's it's a group of people saying stuff, right? We're not talking about um, we're playing a guessing game. We ain't talking about little things that, that could have been going on or got said when you was maybe in high school. We're talking about you as a grown person. You, you, hey, I can look you up on jailbase, jailbase.com. I'm, I'm, I just looked and I seen what you, I seen what you did. And, um, somebody else, a good source, a good friend said that this was this, or you was known for beating up women, or you just don't mind. And you never, ever, ever fought a female in your life. All of a sudden, you, like, you become the woman king for him. And, I'm with you and I'm trying to figure out why, why I keep being done wrong and why this, listen, you keep being done wrong because you already got the information and you still sit up there and figure that you want to be a God to, to, to an earthly being like that, does it, that got their own emotions, their own chemistry, their own magnitude, their own everything of what they're going to gravitate to. That's what you want choose to do. And so guess what? At the end, we sitting up here with Sheila and we're talking to Sheila. Sheila, hey, so help me. And, and we're crying and stuff. And it's the holidays. And we try to figure out like, okay, so I just did all this stuff. It's the holidays. I thought we was going to be together. Me, you, and... I was supposed to, you was supposed to come see my family a bit. So, no, hey, some things is not, we don't have to just sit up here and, t and, and figure it out. We know some things we ain't got to sit up here and pray about. It's, it's literally right there in your face. So, for that reason, I'm not saying that, that Jocelyn is pretty. I don't know, okay? And maybe, she, I don't know. She's 26 years old and... R. Kelly is almost 60, and I'm pretty sure, you know, that's that's very young. But it ain't young enough if you want a 14 to 15, 16-year-old, if that's something you're interested in. I'm not accusing him. I'm just saying that's the same thing that goes for a female. I don't care what it is. If you got a reputation for being, you know, out there loose leaf and you're just all about in any, any little thing, your mind, you know, you ain't got no type of boundaries, honey. It ain't, we ain't gonna have no good night here. And we are not messing up and tearing up no club. You willing to tear it up for any and everybody. Your open bag of potato chips and, and everybody can get some. 
some things is not shareable we cannot share every every single thing we cannot share this is not lays you cannot just eat just one only time you can do the sharing with lays potato chips is when you are in the room with your own and is you can't just eat one if you know what i mean outside of that box we're not doing it okay now i i don't know and it goes for everybody but how do you how do you feel about this and about anything with a reputation like do would you do you ignore the signs or you keep doing i think that's that's one of women problems right there that's one of our major problems is that we we feel sorry for people and we go on our own emotions and that's what messes us up a lot of the times because we look at this stuff and we just keep doing it like we'll go and marry a prisoner and i'm not saying that you can't like that don't mean that they could be free from things but why did you go there what was the reason tell me now i'm different from anybody else if you went for you know hey you had a little bit you had a little bit of sugar powder a little uh, baking powder, sugar powder. If you went for sugar powder. Because you wanted everybody to try a little bit of the sugar powder. Okay, you know what? I could, we could sit down and talk. Because you could be freed from that. You can be delivered from that. But we cannot be that you just didn't know what you was doing. And you just decided to go and do some crazy stuff. Like you decided in one day that you wanted to go rob five different five different stores and you didn't care and gunpoint you had everybody on gunpoint and doing all of that you end up pulling the gun and the trigger on it on a couple of people no i we can't do it some some things ain't curable some things is not healable so you not you're just gonna have to just let that by pass and that's it okay but guys listen how do you feel about that was that something good you can't help what happens things happen whatever but i just feel like if he's with the rumors i most certainly would not have wanted to be like be pregnant from him not with the rumors i mean there's so much of stuff going on so many things going on and again like we nobody would never know i'm not saying that he's innocent and i'm not saying that he's guilty but i'm just saying like it's just so much to try to say okay no you could be cool as a friend but boy i can i know i can handle child from you and especially not no daughter that that most certainly because I, I wouldn't be able to trust you but guys listen you do what you need to do like comment subscribe tell us what you think about this whole situation and what would you do is just like okay hey maybe hey kudos to him who knows i don't know we're out.